Hello everyone, Turner Brunner here with another video for you guys. Uh, I'm going to go over, this is going to be a Blade Master tutorial, and it's going to be specifically how to deal with Scions as Blade Master. Um, there are a lot of different Scions, and there's a lot of different ways you can approach them. Um, whether it's, you know, knifing or using guns. So I'm going to go over a few different instances on how you can be, you know, how you can use, you know, the game's mechanics to your advantage uh, so you can have a better time as Blade Master. Because sometimes what's common is a lot of people will just knife in front of a Scion and then they'll get hit and get down. But there's different ways you can do with Blade Master to uh, enhance your playing ability. So let's get right into it. So the clip I'm about to show you right now is on the line, my solo run on the line. So in this video, you'll see me deal with two drop shot scions and two ice scions. Um, in my opinion, the ice scion is the worst scion you can deal with as Blade Master because the cryo cannon has such a a long uh, freeze range um, and even if you're baiting baiting them into mailing at you you can still get frozen from a pretty far distance so uh, let's get right into it so the first instance is the drop shot scion so with the drop shot scion um, obviously he shoots needs to reload he shoots needs to reload um, and he also is one of the charging scions so what I do right here is I wait for him to shoot a shot at me, and then while he's reloading, I do a full triple combo. And then since I'm close, he's close to me, I run away. And then I melee, jump back, melee, jump back, melee, jump back. So with Scions, like I said in my Blade Master tutorial, and I'll go over that clip uh, because it's a little short. Um, what I said in my Blade Master tutorial that, you know, was the solo on the Surge is Scions always melee with their left arm. So if you, if you go left, they're, they have no chance of hitting you. Sometimes relative to the cover or relative to the map layout, sometimes you'll still have to roll right or even roll backwards. What I like to do is do really either, uh, roll left, roll right roll backwards. Um, you want to get a habit of hitting once and then jumping away and not getting hit at all. If you try to do a full triple combo, it, you, there's a good chance you'll get down because the throw of the hunt might not be fast enough or whatever. So you want to get a habit of meleeing once and jumping. So let's go over that again. So again, and then with the drop shot Scion, um, not all the scions charge at you, right? So the drop shot charges, the uh, buzz kill charges, the mulcher and cryo do not charge. They won't run at you. They'll just try to freeze you or shoot you down or melee you. Uh, salvo scion charges as well. So just keep that in mind as well. Just a quick tip. I'm not sure if everyone knew that. So while he's reloading, I need a triple combo in. Wait till he stops running. Melee once, jump back. Melee and one jump back, and we just dance until he dies. So that's one way of handling that first sign. So the next segment here is I use drop shot to lower health of the other uh, scions to make my life a little bit easier. So I'm dealing with the ice scion, which in my opinion is the worst sign to deal with as a melee character, or specifically Blade Master. Uh, so I'm dealing with an ice scion and a drop. So at my disposal, I have two flashes and a drop shot so uh, relative to the context of the game I know I can't use both flashes on both scions but I can't afford to use one of them um, but uh, also to keep in the hat uh, I want to keep you also keep in mind is uh, if you have guns at your disposal to lower the health of enemies um, you want to do that. Like if you have a sniper, use that. You want to use everything at your disposal to lower the health of the enemies. Unless you don't have those things and you have to just work with what you got. But if you can pick up a drop shot, pick up a Marksa, or you know, pick up a grenade, there's no harm in getting that signs a little bit lower before you approach them. Because that can only 
if they have lower health, then then if you don't use those weapons, that could only be to your advantage. So what I do is I waste all my drop shots to lower the health of these two signs, or at least the one. The reason I use a flash here is because it's the cryo scion, or the ice scion. So I triple combo him, at least I try to, but the drop charges me, so I go away. So the drop scion, I just dance with him, I swing, jump away, I go back to the ice scion, and I, and I go to the left, melee and once go to the left, and then I go back to the drop, melee, jump back, melee, jump back. So, see, he swings with his left arm, and I swing right, and he has no chance of hitting me. So, that's another way to deal with, uh, deal with the drop as well. So, just, you can bait them to constantly meleeing at you, and when you do that, that means they're not shooting. It's a, it's a good uh, tip to think of as Blade Master. All right, this is the last sign I'm going to show for this particular map before I go on to another map. So, you see how I'm almost dead right there? The Ice Sound is not to be t taken lightly. He's definitely the worst one of all the signs to deal with. So, and he's trying to freeze me around corners. So my current plan is for him to get super close so I can bait him. So he melees at me, but you see how he still shoots in between melees? So, and then he teleports a little bit out of my range, so I have to get away. So let me show you that again. So here he goes, trying to almost freezing me across the map, and I still have a flash and a draw, but I need the flash for a future ice scion, just for context. Um, so I need to kill him with either drop in my melee. So I'm waiting for him to get close so I can melee him and then jump back and bait him into swinging and not shooting. So he misses, he misses again, but then he like shifts a little bit too far because of you know the game can cheat like that. He shifts a little bit out of my range for some reason, so I have to kind of back up away from him. I still have drop shot though, so I'm gonna lower my health, lower his health with drop shot. I got a headshot there, so I just need one more melee, and he's gonna die. Melee jump. So just and they teleport there as well. But you want to get in the habit, so I'll go over those last uh, three scions again in real time. But you want to get in the habit of meleeing once, moving. The exception is the drop shot scion, because you can get a full triple combo in while he's uh, while he's shooting at you. So let's go over those last three scions in real time. Okay, so. Drop shot, I scion, the in this I like to say game enders, the one that's more likely in the game is the ice scion. He's likely to freeze you and then hit you. So you want to deal with him first. But since he's so close to the drop, uh, the drop shot charges at me. So I got my enough melees in for that time, and I deal with the drop. Melee jump, make sure I jump out of reach, deal with the ice because he's still there. Melee jump to the left. Um then I go back to the drop, melee, roll. So just want to make sure you make, getting the bait at you, just get in the habit of making him bait at you or getting him to bait at you, getting him to swing at you. If he's swinging and he's missing, that means he's not doing anything. So you want to get in the habit of that. So with the ice ion, again, for context, I do have a flash, but I want to use, I have an ice ion, I need the flash for later, so I save it. So I got to use the drop shot, and I got to use uh, my melee ability here. I almost get frozen because he is, you know, cross map because he's a dangerous scion. So I lower the health as much as I can with ideally active drops, but I didn't. I miss my active, I believe. So I get him close to me so I can bait him into swinging at me. Melee jump, melee jump. He teleports a little bit out of my range, maybe about. I don't know, two feet, but it's just enough for me to need to run away and get behind cover. So I get, I try to get an active drop, headshot, or not that one, but this one's a headshot, and he's just one melee from being dead, and then I can move on to the next section. So that's it for the line. I'm going to get into another one of my videos. Okay, so another clip I want to show you is me dealing with the salvo scion on the end right so on the end um and i do plan on doing this with the multrasound spawn as well but that's not the point of this video 
on the end, I have four Sion, four Salvo Scions to deal with, um, and well, sometimes three if one of them's glitched, but four Salvo Salvo Scions to deal with. So, but also in the end, in the Salvo Scion spawn, you get flashes. So because you get flashes, you can save the flashes specifically for the Scions if you want a safer way to deal with the Scions as opposed to just mailing him and dancing with him. So, but what you want to do, or sorry, what I, not what you want to do, but what I did in this video is I don't, I use my flash on one of them, but I didn't even use my, I didn't have a flash for the second one, and I didn't even use my ultimate on one Scion because I I can't justify using my ultimate on a single scion and because it's the end because it's a short ultimate you could still he may not die within it so it's still risky so you're better off just you know doing a couple moves on him so let's get into the end though so when you're when you're at this pillar uh, you trigger the enemies from the LZ so this is Elite Drones from the LZ. So I deal with the Elite Drone first, but he, again, not the point of the video, so I'm not going to address on it too much. So I have an Elite Drone there. I flash him, right, because um, I don't want to take any initial damage. But then there's a Scion right after him. So I get my flash out. So what I do with this Scion, because there's two coming, I flash, and then I do two triple combos and go away. So there's really not much to that encounter because he's stationary and can't do anything. As long as the flashes work, that's a very easy situation to deal with. But I have no flash for, and I'm dealing with an elite drone. I have one elite drone and another salvo sign. So um, I have no flashes for either of these two enemies, so I have to deal with them straight up. I do have my ultimate, but it's not a guarantee uh, you know, survival because of the short ultimate. So he's right there, right? So he friendly fires the elite drone, so I make sure I get the elite drone first. I wait till he's done shooting, and then I rush him. I melee, he starts to charge, and, and when they're charging, you have to do one roll to get away from him. And then I bait him into swinging. If the salvo sign shoots, you lose the encounter. But if the salvo sign is trying to melee and you get him to miss a few times, you will win that counter encounter every single time. Let's go over that one more time. All right, same thing. Deal the elite drone. I flash him uh, just just for safety because you never know what they're gonna do. So I flash the first salvo scion. Very easy situation. As long as the flash works, it's a very easy situation. Uh, triple combo and then go away. Then there's going to be another elite drone and another scion I'm going to deal with. And I do have my ultimate, but I'm not going to use it because it's for for so few enemies, it's really not useful anyway. And also because of the short ultimate, he when the ultimate ends, the salvo scion could still melee you uh, and kill you. So I don't think it's appropriate to use it here. So I tr I stand back here to pull him more forward. Both of them really. Um, friendly fires the elite drone, so I get him first, and then I wait. You wait till he's done shooting. So before, uh, I'm not. If you comment below if you know this, but I'm not a hundred percent versed on what every scion says. I know with uh, I know with the ice scion, he says freezing. I know with the Mulcher Scion, he says suppression, suppression, or suppression, excuse me. Um, with the Salvo Scion, I want to say he says firing. So when he says that, you'll hear him say something, and then you want to hide. Because if you rush him when he's saying that, he will spam three or four Salvos. Sometimes more, because the game can be that way. But three or four Salvo shots. Salvo shots. So you want to do is wait for him to say something or depending on how you look at it, make a noise. He's like firing and then he'll shoot the shots and then you rush him. So you don't want, you want him to get that, you know, get his shots off and then go because if you rush him, he's just going to blast you because he, because the 
salvos sh salvo shots have an auto aim so you want to just be behind cover that way the cover can somewhat protect you so now that he's uh, fired his shots I melee him roll once melee give him the swing melee give him the swing melee give him the swing so that is it's pretty much it for this map that's uh, instructional on how to deal with scions so I'm going to go to another map next the next encounter I want to go over is on the surge. So on the surge, um, after the safe room, you got two mulchers and two silo scions. And I already went over in uh, detail uh, my solo on the surge. So you can just look on the channel if you want to look on that, which also serves as a Blade Master tutorial. So with the surge, um, a common strategy is to trigger the mulcher scions forward. That way you can deal with them sooner rather than later so after I trigger them um, I have I get I have M bar and I think I still have flashes I've M bar from the previous uh, from the previous act so what I use for the Mulcher Scion is one M bar stun and I really should have shot him twice but the stem saved me so one M bar stun to do one triple combo and then if you're in the same situation, shoot a second M bar stun to do another triple combo and now be safer. I only shot one, which is my mistake, but it still worked out. So we'll see here right now. So, and it's gotta be active. So an elite hunter rushes in, wanna mark him, deal with him first. So Multrasound hops at a barrier, so I I stun him. I see the elite drone, but as long as I'm in front of the Mulcher Scion, so I should have shot again in between triple combos because he gets unstunned eventually. So that's how that's another way to deal with uh, a Scion is stun and then, uh, or at least another version of stunning. So let's go over that again real quick. So, oh, it's a little too far back, but it's okay. So pull him from um, his position next to the other scions. So he's going to hop over the barrier. I make sure I get my active on the end bar. That way I can stun him. Do the elite hunter real quick first. He's going to hop over the barrier. Stun him once. Go up to him. Triple combo. I should stun him again since I still have my active, but I didn't do that. But the, st but the stem from the uh, safe room saved me there. So that worked out. So that's one way to deal with a mulcher scion. Same map, another situation. Um, there's another Mulcher sign that pull, gets pulled forward uh, from the from, from a, a middle part of the map next to the other scions. So uh, you'll you'll see how uh, uh, delayed healing or Lonnie's passive um, allows me to survive a Mulcher situation. Again, I touched on this, and I'll clip the link in the description below. But um, latent healing from a, a dead or dying elite grenadier allowed me to handle uh, Mulcher Scion uh, somewhat okay, I'd probably say. So, and just remember something I've said before: you want to, when you're dealing with Mulcher Scions, you want to bait them into swinging as opposed to making them or thinking they're going to shoot at you, or sorry, allowing them to shoot at you is what I wanted to say. Alright, so got him, Elite Grenadier. I stunned him. I actually wasn't expecting him. Um, so, melee jump, melee jump. The Elite Grenadier dies on the kill feet, so I get healing, and that helps me deal with the Mulcher Scion. So, let's go over that one more time. So, Scion's coming up. Uh, there's going to be, it's the surge, so there's just so many enemies that's, that are going to come at you at all times. Just got to be ready. I deal with the smaller, well, the, you know, number one game ender, which is the Elite Drone. I was going to M-Bar stun the Scion, but the, the Elite Grenadier uh, surprised me there, actually. Melee jump, melee jump, Elite Grenadier dies, so I get the passive. And it allows me to survive that encounter a lot easier, because I did get hit. So that's one another way to deal with a Mulcher Scion. Just with these Scions, constant movement. Um, using weapons to damage them, stun. Um, there's a, so many different ways to deal with the Scion. 
um, that you, you don't want to, you just don't, the, the main thing is you just don't want to stagnate and allow yourself to get hit. You want to be constantly moving and constantly be creative with how you're going to kill the scion. So there's one more video um, I think is appropriate for this, and it's going to be one of the easier ways to deal with the scion. So let's look at that. Okay, the last but not least uh, tip I want to give you guys on how to deal with scions is dealing with the ice scion again. Um, I want to reinforce, and it's really not a different tip, but I want to reinforce the fact that using the guns you have at your disposal, so like as you can see, the ice scion is in the distance. If you use the guns you have at your disposal, It'll lower the health of the enemy. By the time he gets to you, you have less of the enemy's health to deal with. So when you are uh, dealing with the ice scion and you have nine sniper bullets, which is, I believe, the situation I'm in, um, and it only takes three active headshots to do that, um, that is one aspect you can do to kill the ice scion. So when... Like I've said earlier in this video, the Ice Scion, um, in my opinion, is the worst Scion you can deal with as Blade Master. So you want to put yourself in suboptimal, or sorry, not suboptimal, but completely optimal uh, uh, positions and not suboptimal positions. So what I do here is I don't even try to melee him. I don't. I don't need to. I don't need to like. I don't need to bait him or anything. It's a, it's a very low risk proposition if I just snipe him. So I just choose to do that. So you'll see like that in a second. So I deal with a bunch of juvies. Um, with Blade Master, you can't get hit consecutively by juvies, um, at least not without healing. So you got to make sure that you're constantly meleeing him. So the Ice Ion is threatening to freeze me. So I actually create some distance. To get away from him, which you know may not be the you know the toughest thing to do, but I'm here to win. So what I do is one active shot. I must have shot him earlier. Yeah, I shot him earlier. Um, so that's two active shots there, but it was one active shot beforehand. All right, so that's one way to do it. It seems basic, and it seems it may not be relevant to you guys, but. You want to use everything at your disposal, and you don't want to be a one-dimensional Blade Master player. You can use flashes, um, grenades. Uh, just depends on the context. Uh, sometimes shot grenades can be useful to stun a Scion. I'll, you'll see that in later videos. But um, I'm going to go over this one more time, and that'll be it. So let me actually get to the point where I snipe them. Maybe I can see that. So, so this whole encounter, since I have a lot of sniper, I try to eliminate as many enemies to deal with later as I can. So down the road, there's elite drones, and I think the spawn, I have elite hunters. So I try to just eliminate them as much as you can. So using the same Scion principles, um, you don't have to, as Blade Master, melee everything. So you can use everything at your disposal to progress forward. So... There's the ice sign. So I get one active shot on him then. So that's the one active shot I was missing in the previous video. And I think I try to get you know as much as I can as far as headshots are concerned because, again, I'm using the sniper ammo at my disposal. Here's me using a frag. Even though it's not for the scion, it's still for the juvies. So I use a sniper to kill the juvies. So I just use everything I can because you don't want to go to the LZ having a bunch and lose because you didn't use all your ammo. You also don't want to lose if you, you know, because you are saving your ultimate, but that's another story for another video. So just melee the juvies, wait till the sound gets close, because remember I only had, I already did one active shot on him, so now I have uh, two more to go. And I think the venom's thick enough to hurt him a little bit as well. So I get some distance, shoot him once, and then I get another active, and then I kill him straight away. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much it with how to deal with Scions as Blade Master. Um, if you like this, you like if you want more tutorial videos, uh, comment below. Um, you know any specific requests because I enjoy making them. 
Uh, thanks guys for watching. You guys have a good one. Peace.